Movies can be easily experienced in our lives. Theaters are getting bigger and bigger all the time, so smaller theaters are losing interest. However, small theaters often show many very interesting movies. We want to introduce about small theaters. Therefore, we interviewed people about screening movies in big theaters and small theaters. Through this interview, you can understand others' thoughts and feelings about movies. Please enjoy our story. Hello, my name is Kim Jae-won. I'm an English major freshman. I'm 20 years old. My name is Robert Hinderleiter. I'm an American. I'm 31 years old. I grew up in a small town in Kansas, and now I'm a teacher here at Joseon University. Hello, my name is Ha Kyung. I'm from South Korea, and I've studied um, English translation about four years, and I'm 23 years old. And that's it for me. Thank you. My favorite movie is Second Mother. My favorite movie is Gattaca. First, there are four main characters, Bar, Barbara, Pabinho, Jessica. Bar is perfect housemaid mother, and Pabinho is the richest son she was raised by Bar. Barbara is owner of the house, and she is an employer to Bar. Jessica is Bar's daughter. Gattaca is a 1997 science fiction movie starring Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman and Jude Law. The director is Andrew Nichol. Gattaca is set in the near future at a time when genetic modification is possible for humans. So before you are born, your parents can decide what your genes will be like. So you can be strong and healthy and smart. But the main character, his name is Vincent, his parents decided not to choose his genes for him and left it to fate. And because of that, he was very sick and weak and small, and he, he wasn't as successful as some of the genetically modified people. But his dream was to go to outer space, and he was able to steal someone else's identity and live a secret life trying to become an astronaut and go to outer space. It's a very interesting movie. After watching this movie, I thought about the relationship between my mother and I. Although we have lived together about 20 years, we have had so many conflicts. But <coughs> Jessica and Barr stayed apart for 13 years, so we can see how they can't understand each other during staying apart. This movie shows nowadays society. There are a lot of couples who are working together for a living, so there are so many children who are raised by others. Then it can be a story about everyone, anyone. I recommend this film because it's very different than most science fiction movies. The setting and the tone of the movie is more similar to the 1920s or 1950s and it's, it has beautiful music, and it's really inspiring. It really has a great uh, moral to it, and can teach us um, some important lessons about life. Because this movie isn't that famous, um, maybe you haven't heard of it. So, I hope that my interview will help you to have an interest about the, this movie, The Second Mother. After watching this film, I thought about the preciousness of family, especially the importance of mothers. This movie makes me think about my mom and appreciate to her. If you watch this movie, you will think about the relationship among the family and you also realize that how important, how our parents are a great existence. There are lots of doctors and mothers who have had so many conflicts with each other, and to all of them, I'd like to recommend this movie. They can realize 
how important the person who is next to them. First intro bar is Susing Pabinho who says when does mother come back. Second after bar was her was heard that Jessica passed the exam. She gets into the pool for the first time and plays in water like a child. My favorite scene. Okay. In this movie, the main character Vincent has a brother who was genetically modified. So he has kind of a rivalry with his brother, and they go swimming. And when they were young, the brother, who is bigger and stronger, always was able to swim farther than Vincent. But at the end of the movie, they meet one last time, and they swim against each other. And this time, even though Vincent is just a normal person, he's not genetically modified, he is able to swim farther than his brother. And it's a really powerful moment when we realize even if you don't have the best genes, you can still work hard and achieve your dreams. Thank you. Thank you. There are many movies in this world. These movies can have a big impact on our lives. When we watch movies, we lose our stress and gain vicarious experiences. Now the attention of non-mainstream cinema is shrinking. Only our attention can revive the non-mainstream cinema.